We now know how this horrible fire in Marshville started. It was in the electrical box. The house went up in flames in the middle of the night. A mother and her two children, four and six years old, fast asleep inside. The good news, the family is safe tonight thanks to Marshville Police Officer Mike Lovengood. He was on patrol and spotted the fire just in time. And Officer Lovengood joins us now live tonight from the Marshville Police Department. Officer, thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you. So you're on patrol last night. What exactly did you see that brought you to the house? I came on scene. The flames were pretty far advanced in the house, probably about 15 feet from the roof line of the house where the flames were coming from. I uh, exited out of the car and tried to make contact with someone inside the residence and was unable to get anyone to the doors. Did you have any idea that there were kids inside when you pulled up? I didn't at first. I started looking around and noticed there was children's toys on the front porch of the house and kind of added to my concern for the situation here. I was going to say, what went through your mind at that point? Because you know there's people inside. I, I knew at the point I was going to have to go inside the house. There was not any other choice on it. So, so you kicked down the door, right? Yes, sir. What was it like inside there? It was very smoky and dark. I definitely have great respect for our firemen, the job they do. Because you didn't have an oxygen tank or anything, did you? No, I didn't have anything on. It's just my regular duty gear for being a police officer, not for the smoke or the flames. Man, oh, man. Is, is it just reflex? I mean, what, what was it? <laughs> it's just doing what I hope that anyone in the same situation would do. There's a, a time to respond. Sure. Uh, what was, was it hard to find them inside? You said it was smoky and dark. Were you able to communicate with them? What happened? The good Lord blessed me on that. Uh, the first room I went to, I found mother and her two children asleep in the bed. And you got them out. Um, has it sunk in yet? You saved three people's lives. It's still kind of surreal. I haven't had much time to think about it. Uh, I was talking in the back and not saying I want to get emotional about it, but you kind of think you know, the ramifications of what happened last night. Well, Officer Lovengood, you strike me as a humble guy. You probably never call yourself a hero, but we'll do it for you. It was an incredible act of bravery last night, and a family is alive because of your good work. We appreciate your time tonight. Continue good, uh, good work there on the scene there in Marshall. Appreciate your time, sir. Thank you, sir. The American Red Cross Union County Chapter is assisting the family tonight. If you would like to help, call 704-283-7402. What a guy, huh? What an incredible mm. guy. Take a